Morning everybody. Happy Easter Saturday. It's 2024 and I'm back. Um, I'm in my kitchen because I'm just about to show you the garden. Okay. What? Can you believe the actual sun is out? Can you believe it? I can't believe it. But this is my view. You know, usually I work upstairs as many of you know. But I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this garden. So I can have my studio outside. Thank gosh. So here's my little bits and pieces in my little kitchen. I love it. The dog bowl there is for Ted and Dave. But I am thinking about getting a little dog. So, probably a little Yorkshire Terrier. Loving my old food. I love it. So this is something I did. This is the Titanic. I just wanted something different in the kitchen. And as you know, I do a lot of stuff and I love to reclaim and stuff. But this is 1912 newspaper. And I thought, what can I do with it? And then I found out after I'd done it that my that Jeff's um, nan she was born in 1912 so I should have put her on there as well but I didn't. This is my coffee bar morning. I work from here as well when I'm up upstairs. And then so this is all my coffee area. And then this is going to have a barn door on it. Now as you know, I don't know if you do know because I've not been around in such a long time that I moved about three months ago, but it took so long. We was gonna move, then it fell through, so everything was packed, then that fell through, then we found this. So yes, I have downsized, but we called it a little cottage. So I love it. So the sun's beaming through today. So this is where the barn door will go, on this side of the room. So you sort of opens up. So that's been done. We've done most of the rooms. We've just got the hallway to do and the major bedroom to do. Plus my office is in there, but it's not as big as it was. We've definitely downsized, definitely downsized. Right, let's go and have a look in this garden and I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Sorry. So I've already got my chairs up, my coffee's out there have that in a minute so this area will be right back. can you see it I don't know if you can see it so a whole undercover area next door's got one but ours is going to be not enclosed just with the roof on it and that so I haven't got to keep taking these chair cushions in all the time because they take a lot of storage you know, I've had this about 10 years, these chairs. Anyway, look at this shed. I wanted to show you this. Now, this shed is listed. Stunning, isn't it? I love it. You know what I'm like with my old stuff. So, for now, I'll show you inside if we can see it. This has sort of got all my stuff that I do up furniture and that with. As you can see, I've got little bits and pieces there. Plus, I've had to put the garden stuff in here. I've had to put all my everything in here. Everything. Look. And I'll tell you why everything's in here and how it's going to change very shortly with the help of my brother. So let's close that shed up. Right, so it's all going to be repainted. all going to be redone to make it look we'll keep it in the way but look at the roof I just think it's lovely now you're either going to love this or you're going to hate this the tree it's massive I'll probably show you better from the top of the garden but I love it you know most people build buildings to have some shade in the summer um I love a tree and plus all the wildlife's in there so this area next to the shed here it's what you'll see first. I've already had to dig out some roots for the pathway. That was done in like, I think it was three or four below zero. Me and Terry had to do it. But this area here, see these little sheds here? Well, I've got two more of them coming and they're gonna go there. That means it will empty out my shed because I don't want to put a massive big shed in when I've already got this one here. So they are go along there, there'll be three of them along here. I'll show you that. We'll show you it as we're working on it. 
So this is what's going to be on living with Christina. My wheelbarrow, you'll see that changed. I love, this is about nearly 30 years old, this wheelbarrow. My neighbour gave it to me and it was the one that her, her and her husband first brought. So I'll be doing that up and I'll show you what I do with that. You can see some worktop in there, that's going in that shed when Terry does it out, my brother. And then as we move up this part of the garden, see it's quite big. So my washing line and stuff going here, but it's this bit, this top bit, is that where it's going to be my new studio. Oh, we've done this fencing last week. I should have filmed that, but I had such so much to do. I now work from home now. So and I record on Murder Analyzed Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, and then just at the minute I'm updating this site because we haven't touched it in years so I've updated it so I've been doing that this weekend nice Easter weekend to do some work all the kids have gone to Whitsonade Zoo everyone's out the whole family's out my sister's out so she'll leave me alone so I can get on with it but this is where the studio is going to be so I think it's 16 or 17 foot by 20 the actual frame that's going in and then I'm going to have along the back there will be the summer house then we've sit an area here and then it will look down then onto the house with the outside bit and then this side will be there now where these bins are at the minute they will go out the front in the end because i haven't done it yet and they will be the that will be the barbecue area there so it's going to be a built-in barbecue and pizza oven because you know we entertain quite a lot so you'll be seeing quite a lot of that on here, especially when I reach 20,000 subscribers because I'm going to do a cocktail party um, around here. So you'll see all the family and stuff and you'll see it all. I'm not going to cut out much of it to tell the truth unless there's um, too much bad behaviour. You never know. But anyway, in the end, that's where that will go. So we've got some work to do. My other garden was done. I grew wisteria for over 10 years. I had to leave that. But this garden I wanted more as an entertaining garden than a floral garden. Did I show you the tree? Let me walk back up here. You can see it's quite a long walk and Candice loves to have a cup of tea up here in the mornings when she comes around with the dogs. And by the time I've got from that house to the top of this garden, there ain't much tea left in the cup. I tell you, and I've tried using a tray and everything. It's just not good. This video is probably not good either. <laughs> So can you see the tree? Now I don't mind it. I love a bit of shade. But, you know, I didn't want to put anything over there. Oh, I forgot to tell you something. With this part as well of the garden, as them all them being moved down to where that sort of shed is now, there's going to be like a greenhouse. But it's not really a greenhouse. It's called a shabby chic greenhouse. You know I love shabby chic. So I'll show you that as well. Because Taylor wants to use it, a bit rubbish. Taylor wants to use it as a like reading area because she she has lots of stuff. You know, she loves to read. So she's I'm designing that for her. Plus, I use it because you know what our English uh, summers and winters are like. So even if you get some winter sun in a greenhouse, it's lovely. But that it's not really a greenhouse. It's going to be a shabby chic greenhouse. For her reading club so that's what's happening in the garden gosh a lot of work right let's go and have my coffee and then i'll talk to you inside hello and welcome back hello i can't believe it um, that i'm finally back um doing living with christina now many reasons i suppose why i've done this one because i now finally only work on youtube well, I try, right? I, I try. Um, there's still certain things that come up. Like the other day, Terry was doing my fence and we had it all planned. I was going to help him. In the end, my sister Lisa had to help him because um, someone needed a bit of help. So I had to go and do that. But usually, no, it's all about YouTube for me now. Um, I think with Murder Analyze is going so well, I took about a year out and there was loads of different reasons for that. To tell you the truth, I'm going to be honest, because so many people have asked, and that's another reason why I've come back to do this, because people have asked questions about me and my life and my family and my kids. And so I wanted to be honest and open about it. So, um, yeah, the, 
the first reason was is because we was going to move so we packed everything up and I have a lot of computer stuff to play, you know, and I do my own editing so um, for that reason um, it's difficult right when you have to edit and do everything yourself and you you packed all your stuff away for like the second time because it was two times that I um, was going to move and they both fell through and I was going to move to Wales if you remember and I love Wales but unfortunately for me it wasn't right I couldn't it just didn't feel right um, and so I put that aside probably about a month before I was going to move to tell you the truth I just thought this it's not right it just didn't feel right I didn't want to leave the kids and I have a life here you know we only live about 20 miles out of London and I love London I love it and you'll see I go to a lot of shows and different things and I'll show you on here as we go through now on living with Christina so I didn't want to give all that up but I do have a sister that um, lives in Wales in Pembrokeshire and it is stunning and so I've got the best of both worlds I think and then finally this house come up and as I said it's quite small um, from what we were used to and I've lost a whole office I've lost a lot of stuff but I still think it was worth it I love this house we call it the little cottage it feels like that it's just got a great feel to it this house and it's like new beginnings so I decided after everything that was for that year plus I had gone to Santorini I'm not gonna lie right I've been to Spain I've been to Santorini and I'll tell you now if you've never been to Santorini you should go it's amazing I loved it we was there for a week and um, right on the Aegean Sea it was just beautiful and I'll put some photos and stuff up for you to see but <laughs> Benidorm in July with Lisa, a bit of a girly week. I'll film some of that over there as well. Um, there's a lots of things happening this year, so it'd be good to get it all on film. And the kids kept saying to me, Mum, you should do it, you know, because you're doing everything else. And I do love to, to do this sort of thing. I love to do murder analyze, but as I said, when you are editing, and I, I do five cases a week just for the channel, then I do other cases and behind the scenes stuff for my members. So there's quite a lot of filming. So I thought, well, I may as well put a few more videos in, nicer videos, you know, because there is more to life than, you know, crime, really. And I wanted to sort of show that there is. Listen, YouTube's a great thing, isn't it, really? You can just do so much of it, and I love it. But that's the reason I'm back, really, um, in force. I've come back in force really so I've worked out my schedule and as I say this is now really what I do I am now a youtuber would you have ever believed it no people can't believe it but I really enjoy it and I know many of you enjoy what not just watching or what's on murder analyze but also behind the scenes stuff people want to know about us and rather than me keep writing it down and you know sending out stuff it's best just to put it in one place now, online, in my professional career, should I say, I'm known as Christina. But you're here, here, and most people that know me call me Chrissy, or Chris, right? I'm just an ordinary person, and, um, you know, and some people may call me different things than that, I'm not so sure, but that's what my family and my friends call me. So, yeah, on this channel, if you want to leave messages and stuff, I don't think we're up to the thousand yet. I think we're only at 260 subscribers because I haven't done a lot. But when we do have a community thing or you want to leave a message or write to me, just say Chrissy or Chris, 
you don't have to be formal in this one. This is very an informal channel. This is more about my life outside of what I do for a living, I suppose, really, if you could call it that. So there's been a lot happening. So I will tell you about Santorini um, and I'll show you some pictures of that. The kids, as I said today, the house is quiet. It's never quiet, this house. And you'll see as we do lots more videos, we have the dogs around, the kids around, and the kids are all getting older, right? You know, I've got Lacey now, just finishing her GCSEs, and you know she's autistic, right? And I want her to talk to you about um, how she's found it and stuff, because I know a lot of you have kids with, who are autistic, and it just shows you how much someone with aut autism can do, right? I mean, she's such an intelligent girl. And now she's looking at going into sixth form, so I'm so proud of her. Then we have, well, Le Lexi is my youngest. She's our youngest, and she's just started her GCSEs. She's my youngest grandchild. My kids are older, but these are my grandchildren. And she's just started her GCSEs, and she's really scientific, really. Her brain is more scientific. So she's doing like triple science and God knows what else, but she's a very intelligent girl, so you'll see her. Uh, Keone is just finishing her A-levels and she's now going to university in October and she's going to be doing finance um, at university so she's doing well plus she passed her test last year uh, just well yeah, November last year just on her 17th birthday she's passed now Taylor is still teaching my oldest granddaughter she's still a teacher and she also passed her test on January the 19th um, on my mother-in-law's um, birthday and unfortunately my mother-in-law passed away some years ago but um, so that's why it's su such a mem memorable date really so they're all doing really well and you'll be seeing all of them but today everyone is out at Whips and Aid Sue I was asked to go but I I'm more of a person that likes animals out in the wild I'm not really a person that likes to go to zoos. I mean, even when I lived in Australia, to tell you the truth, on the Gold Coast when they had the Sea World and that there, um, I never went. I like to th see things out in the wild. I'm not really keen. I think it's very good, I think, for children to see animals um, but and learn about them. But for me, I'd rather see them out in the wild. It's just something, I'm not really a zoo person. But let me know how you think about that. But I, I'm not, I'm not. And then Lisa today actually sent me a message before she went to say she's got birds. And again, I'm, they're lovely, but for me, I think things should be free in the wild. So I've never liked cage birds and stuff, but I know people have to do it. And there's a lot of birds that you can't have out in the wild because the other birds will kill them, so I understand that. But that's, no, I'm really a dog person. But you will see, actually, Throughout these videos, um, there's a couple of cats, I think they're Persian. They live a couple of doors up. Now, cats have got about nine homes, as well as about nine lives. These cats are just so beautiful, and they constantly try and come in. They want to, like, live here, and they can't, really, because, um, one, I'm sort of allergic to the hair bits of it, and um, it make me sneeze and my eyes go funny and stuff like that. But I love them, but you'll see them, they you'll see them around you they're not my cats but they could be really i think they're everyone's cats they're absolutely beautiful cats so if you like cats you'll see them but yeah i'm thinking about getting a little dog i'm thinking about now i'm home more and i have time for a dog because i think with any animal we have to have time don't you so now i'm at home um yeah i think it's time to um get a little dog and that i'll, I'll be happy with that and i love yorkshire terriers i do so yeah i think that and then i think what we do is when we find one we can choose a name um for it i always think you need to look at the dogs don't you before you choose a name for it anyway that's enough about that what else has been going on well for now a lot a lot apart from we've been decorating and moving and now me and my brother will start in the garden and i don't get builders in i i do it myself as well as doing this, that and the other, I also dig holes and put concrete in. My whole dream is to have a concrete mixer. I love it. And uh, I just love it. Um, or, and a digger. If I had a farm, like, 
you know, when I go to Ireland and you're out on the farm. Oh, oh my gosh, a digger, I would love. I just love it. So yeah, jack of all trades me, jack of all trades. But you'll see me doing that as well. I don't expect anyone to do anything. I certainly don't pay the money for tradespeople to come in. Everything we do, we do ourselves. Um, and if I can't do it, I'll learn how to do it and I'll do it. So you'll see that so it should be a little bit of fun, but there won't be much makeup on, I'll tell you, on that day. And, you know, it could be a little bit of swearing. You never know. But I'll try and edit it out. So that's what's going to happen there. And that's sort of um, it for now, I think. Apart from, you know, these kids, this is, this is why this house is quiet, as I was saying. House is quiet. They're all at the zoo. All of it, not just my grandchildren. Um, all the family have gone. There's loads of them. And um, I thought, mm, should I go? No, I'll do a video for you. So listen, welcome back to Living with Christina. And it is about living, right? I do a lot of stuff other than what I do online. And I hope you enjoy it. So thanks, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.